Pushing trucks and hauling freight. Hey! Hey! Billy was enjoying life on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. He was very impatient at first, but he began to learn slowly about being a useful engine. Sir Topham Hatt decided to pay him a visit. Your work in the yard has been improving, Billy. I'd like to send you to work with Edward for a while. He knows more about railways than I do, to be honest. Yes, sir. I'll be there in a jiffy. Mind the signal! Billy puffed to the junction near Edward's station. I'm working with you today. So I've been told. Would you like to be my back engine to the yard? Sure. They had a splendid journey along Edward's line. It wasn't long before they arrived at the shunting yard. Now Billy, you begin marshalling this train I'm off to check on something. Yes, sir, Edward. I like Edward. He doesn't tell me how to do things all the time. All right, Edward. Time to do damage control. Edward puffed to the other side of the yard. I thought you two would be here. Oh, we're not. We're only ghosts. Ooh. I'm helping teach one of the fat controller's engines to shunt properly, so no messing about today. Get your trucks and be off. Ha! Huh. Fine. This railway would be in shambles without your dedication and respect, Bill and Ben. Was he being serious? Edward and Billy were shunting trucks, but there was a problem. Billy, are you making sure the truck's brakes are set before you let them go? Huh? You need to let the shunter fasten the brakes before you release the trucks, or else they'll go rolling around the yard. Bah, I know what I'm doing, Edward. I've been shunting here for a while now. It's a wonder you've made it this far. Edward tried to be patient, but Billy was hard-headed. He had his own way of doing things. Trucks don't roll unless you push them. Yes, but not all yards are flat. It's a safety precaution. Safety. What matters is getting the job done fast. What do I do? Reasoning with Billy is about as useful as talking to a rock. You need to push them harder, Ben. You need to keep your funnel out of my business. Oh no, I've had a terrible idea. He puffed over to the twins. What are you two still doing here? Ben won't move his trucks out of my way! How did you... I don't even want to know. I've come to ask you to do something I never thought I would. What's that, Edward? I need you to cause trouble. Later, Billy was almost finished arranging trucks to take back home. Billy, I'm going to pick up trucks from the scrapyard. I won't be gone long. All right. Oh, if you see twins running around, try not to get in the way. Twins? What twins? Billy still hadn't listened to Edward about applying the brakes properly on the trucks. I think I'll get some water before I leave. That's what silly Thomas would tell me to do. Bill and Ben sneaked into the yard. Now's a chance! Oh ho ho! I love being naughty! Maybe Edward's not such a fuss pot after all. It's just because he's found someone worse than us. We'll have to change that. No one can cause more confusion than we do. It's not allowed!
When Billy returned, he was shocked. Oh no! Where are my trucks? They must have rolled away. I must find them. Billy scurried up the line after his lost train. <laughs> <laughs> Billy was very worried. He couldn't find the runaway trucks. Everything all right, Billy? Oh, Edward! Edward! I've lost my train! I should have listened to you. Now they've run off and I've no idea where they went. I'm so sorry. Now the fat controller... Oh, calm down, Billy. I'll help you find them. Follow me. They went back to the yard. The trucks were on a siding just past the main entrance. Whew! They didn't go far at all. But I don't remember seeing them there earlier. You were probably in too much of a panic to notice anything. Probably so. Thank you for helping me find them. You're welcome. Good luck getting home. Oh, and Billy, you didn't spot any twins, did you? Why, no. Should I help you find them? Oh, never mind. No news is good news with them. Goodbye. Good night, Edward. I never thought I'd say this, but given the situation, you two are really useful engines, and a credit to your, um, disposition. We're getting a depot station? Oh boy! It's about time we got our own station. All right, that's it. Get back to the clay pits, you two.